the Ruger Super Red Hawk Alaskan chambered in 454 Casol. Is that intimidating or what? Boy, oh boy. I tell you, this gun, when I first put it in my hands, it was like, it's not so much about the gun, it was the dare of buying this gun. It was the reason why I purchased it. You know, you know me by now, I try to justify every purchase. And the dare of this gun in my hands was like telling me, come on, Tom, just buy me. Take me out and shoot me. Oh my gosh, this is like taking a, a 500 cubic inch Hemi and dropping it into a Volkswagen bug. If this doesn't scare the daylights out of an intruder, I don't know what will. Let's talk about this amazing 454 Alaskan, which is rare and hard to get right now. We'll talk about that from Ruger, the excellent company Ruger. Welcome to WeaponsEducation.com. Let's start off the video with just taking a really close look at each side of the firearm. It is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, we're talking about a two and a half inch barrel, six rounds, and think of six rounds of 300 grains each at 1800 grains of hollow point. That is one wallop of a revolver. Boy, oh boy, the stamping on it is gorgeous. And we're going to talk about some other things. The cylinder is very special. It's got three locking mechanisms, unlike other revolvers. What I'll do here after we look at the other side is take a seat and really get into it. But let's look at the other side right now. Here's a nice look at the other side. And yes, this can be used for personal self-defense, especially if you live in the great outdoors, well who knows you know, what kind of animal is going to come after you. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily carry a 454 in the city limits that I live in, but I tell you if I was in the great outdoors I would want this with me. We're going to talk about the recoil and things like that. Right now we're just looking at it and the, and the beauty of it. You can see the cylinder there. It is really, really well made. And it's rare right now. I don't see too many of these. Uh, you see them in the 44 mag readily uh, between eight and nine hundred dollars all over the place but you don't see the 454 Casul anymore and I'm really glad that I, I got it so what I'm gonna do now is take a seat and really get into the details of this gun all right let's get into this review of this amazing firearm from Ruger the Super Red Hawk Alaskan 454 Casul, which of course also shoots the 45 Colt. Now, the availability of this gun right now is kind of rare. Ruger is behind on their manufacturing, which, which I kind of think is a good thing. That means it's like a huge, huge demand. If you've seen my SHOT Show video with Ruger, they're, they're pumping out more guns than, I, I don't know, I think that maybe than other, all the other man, manufacturers. They're doing a great job over there at Ruger, that's my point. So it's hard to get the 454 right now in this little snubby two and a half inch barrel. It's readily available in the 44 Magnum. But with that said, Tammy, uh, my wife's here now, you didn't see my intro. Is this gun intimidating to you? <laughs> Yes, I think so. That's a, that's a big gun. <laughs> I just put it in your hands earlier. It's pretty heavy, isn't it? Yes, it's, it's definitely. I, I don't even choose to shoot that one just yet. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's too much for, for, most, for most human beings, for that matter. But uh, you really... Uh, by the way, if you're using this in self-defense, make sure you use two hands when you shoot it. You don't want to just like go boom in the night and uh, use one hand because... You're not going to get back on target with the second shot. And what I do when I buy a gun of this caliber, 454, and, and I, of course we know it's just the 45 also, long hold, but I want to use the, the maximum capacity of the, of the caliber, the 454. So I say use that, but also keep in mind that it's going to be a loud blast. You want to use two hands. What I do is I keep it loaded. We'll talk about ammo here in a moment. And I keep it loaded up next to my bedside in a special safe here with these uh, with this air protection here. This is from uh, SENS Guard, S-E-N-S Guard. 
So let's talk about this gun. And let's take a close zoom in on it now. Let's really get into it. And what separates this from other revolvers, besides the quality of the steel, because like I said earlier, I mean, this is like putting a massive engine into a small car. And then it's got to withhold all those pressures. So the steel is extremely amazing. But what about the cylinder itself? Because with all these pressures, the cylinder has to be special. So what Ruger did is they have what's called three locking mechanisms. And let me show you this here closely. Now, please take a close zoom in here. And we're familiar with this locking mechanism right here, right? On most revolvers, which goes right into there. So that's number one on this particular gun, the Alaskan. And then number two, let's look at this angle here of the cylinder and see these deep notches, these aggressive notches, beautiful craftsmanship, nice milling. That's the second place that the cylinder locks. If you can look real close right there and see how that goes up and down, that's the second place. Now the third place is right here and right there, if you can see that where the eraser is. So when it closes, it locks up in three places. That's really special about this gun, is the cylinder being so tight. It's as tight as a clam. Some other things about the gun is, is the grips. Uh, the grips have what's called an internal recoil cushion, these whole grips. And as you can tell, I have three fingers on it, which is nice. And you want to have as much of your hand on this gun as possible. And uh, compared to the 500, the 500 Magnum is, not, I won't say much more of a kick, but it, it, is, it, it is. It is a lot more of a kick. This gun is controllable with the 454, and I would use it for personal defense if I lived in the great outdoors. And uh, I use it for personal defense uh, in certain circumstances, depending on where I'm at. We're going to talk about ammo here in a moment. The grips are awesome, uh, the Hulk style grips. Let's take a look now at the mainspring assembly. I'm going to take apart this screw here in a moment, and uh, let's look at the internal parts right now. Let me just take a break and do that myself, and let's look at the internal parts of this gun. Let's just take a look at this. Your normal revolver is not designed to withstand the pressures of a 454. So what Ruger did was they beefed up all this steel here. It's really amazing. And the grip is easily removable and we'll put it right back on. But do you have a nice close zoom in on that? So that, that way you can see the mainspring assembly. And it's easy to take the whole thing apart and break this whole gun down and clean it. It's really, it's really an amazing gun. Let's go on to something else. Okay, so we know that we are looking at a powerhouse of a firearm with a two and a half inch barrel. How about the trigger? I tell you, in double action, it's 11 pounds right at that. Single action, it's a feather, like most revolvers. Let's talk about the ammunition, which is it is a negative. Uh, the ammunition is extremely, extremely expensive. But let me show you what you're paying for here. Here is uh, here's the 454. Here's a 45. Take a look down, please. And here's a 357. So there's a lot that goes into this ammunition. And as I mentioned earlier, these massive hollow points are expensive. They're like $1.50 to $2 each. There's a 45, and, and look at the 357. While I'm thinking of it, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's compare a Smith, gorgeous 686, 357, my first gun ever, along with a Colt Delta Elite. You got a good close look at that? Let me do this. Let me make it nice and clear. 
Look at the different size and those cylinders. It's just amazing how massive this Ruger is. You get what you pay for. I mean, they're both great guns. They're both equally priced. I love this Smith. And I, I just love this Ruger. I'm just trying to point out that this Ruger is really amazing with the massive frame and the steel quality and everything they put into it is just perfect. Let's talk about one last thing before we finish up is the cost of the ammo. Take a look up. We're looking at a dollar fifty to two dollars a round. And like I said earlier, if I'm gonna buy this gun, I'm buying it for the 454 capabilities of it, not the 45 Colt capabilities. It's rare right now. It's hard to find because Ruger's backlogged on, on manufacturing. And I would say you can get the 44 Magnum Alaskan easily. And it's out there for about eight, nine hundred dollars. And there you have it. I'll finish up with this. Alaskan is an interesting proposition and exhibits all things that are good about Ruger's. The gun has good balance and the trigger pull is <laughs> slicker than one would expect to find on a factory gun. It is, it is a lot of fun to shoot and with the effort to convince your wife or girlfriend, uh, I don't know. Yeah, are you going to shoot this gun? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> no, I don't think so. <laughs> This is, a, this is a man's gun, and nothing wrong with maybe females, females do want to shoot it, but I will say uh, I do like it by my bedside. There you have it, the Ruger Super Red Hawk Alaskan 454. Let me know what you think. If you like this type of video, I'll start just going through each one of my guns and talking about them one at a time. Thank you so much. Check it out.